Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Endurance Engineering Academy. Before going into the video, I just want to uh, say a few things about uh, Endurance Engineering Academy. So EEA is an online gate preparation portal and we offer full course for gate ME and XE. In addition to that, uh, subject courses are also available for ME, XE, CE and PI. Engineering Mathematics course is available for all stream and in addition to that, we offer online test series for gate ME and XE also. So this is our website you can just check out so that you will get to know more about us and in addition we have our own android app and also ios app and you can just go through that also to know more about our courses okay and this is our last year that is gate 2021 result from xe and now let us proceed to the video right uh, this is the video which i wanted to do for a very long time actually this is something which is uh, which was there in my list but I am not able to do for a long time because of time constraint. Now I have decided to do this video now. Okay, so what is this video about? Just a, a clear picture uh, what a self-studying student, okay, if a student is not opting for a, a online class or he is not opting for any offline class or whatever, uh, if he is not going for any coaching, if he is going to prepare by self, okay, so then what are all the inputs which I can give? Okay, that is what I'm going to discuss in this video. The first and foremost thing, where can a student, a self-studying student, again, this video is not for a person who is going for a coaching. Okay, if you are attending a coaching, if you are attending online class, then there is no necessary for you to follow this video. If you want, you can just watch it so that you will understand some, uh, understand few points which I'm saying, but it is not that much necessary. Because if you are going for coaching, my suggestion is, see, you have joined some coaching, you believed some person and you joined uh, a coaching, right? So you believed them and you joined them. So start following them. Okay, just accept what he is saying and follow that. Every every faculty will have their experience. So from the experience only he is going to say, he or she is going to guide you. So obviously uh, accept that and start following it. If you face any trouble, then you can discuss with them and you can, uh, what is that? You can uh, interact with him and you can sort out your problem. Okay, that is what we used to do in Endurance Engineering Academy. I used to guide the students and if student has any issues, they can contact me and we can they, we can have some conversations so that uh, we can sort out the problem. That will be the better choice, okay, for the students who are going for coaching. So how you need to prepare. It will be better if you ask to your guide. Okay, that is if you ask your mentor. Okay, so... Um, this video is not for them because if you have joined in coaching then obviously you already have a mentor right but for the students who are not uh, not going for coaching that is self-studying student they won't have a mentor okay that is uh, they might be uh, discussing discussing with few but uh, as from my side i just want to give some uh, suggestions okay so first thing see overall if you take um, a gate preparation I can divide it into bits and bits. The first thing is concepts. Second thing is practicing problem. Third thing is um, revision. And uh, final, uh, but last but not the least, test series. Okay, these are the four things which I will which I will be dividing it. Okay, and uh, also the most important is your mindset. Okay, how you are going to carry yourself through this complete journey. Okay, so gate preparation is something which is a tough journey, but the final exam is going to be easy if you follow, uh, if you are uh, so much dedicated and consistent during this journey. Okay, right. So let me start with concepts. So from where you can learn the concept? See, if you are self-studying, then this learning the concept is something which is a challenging part. Okay, because what you need to do, gate has some syllabus. But if you take a standard book, the standard book will have uh, all like the standard books. For example, let me take Engineering Mechanics by Timoshenko. That book uh, will have all the concepts which is rec which is there in Engineering Mechanics, right? Like basic level, a bachelor's level concept. But GATE doesn't require everything. Okay, a GATE syllabus is confined so that what you need to do by checking the gate syllabus and the book, you need to filter out which is required for you, which is not required for you. All those things you need to filter out. That part is a bit challenging. I'm accepting that. That is a bit challenging. If you are going to uh, do that part properly, then obviously you are uh, uh, like toughest part is over. Remaining thing is same as that of what coaching going students is also going to do. Okay, the 
the very challenging part is uh, uh, getting the conceptual clarity and getting the right conceptual clarity okay just taking a book timo shinko and reading it fully it's not going to help you you just need only what is there in the syllabus okay from that book okay you don't need to read the complete book okay so that is first thing so for understanding the concept i already said in the previous video also my one and only suggestion is for self studying students go for standard books okay go for standard books which books to follow i will say and in standard books also what you need to do you need to filter out what topic to study what topic not to study that filtration process is challenging and that you need to do by keeping gate syllabus in your hand and book in book in other hand and then by comparing it you need to decide okay so which books to follow okay so that is something which i want to talk about uh, for engineering mathematics it's going to be bs gravel and uh, erwin kreisig both are good books but i will suggest you to go for bs gravel uh, majorly and some doubt topics and some bit advanced topic which ever required you can take it from uh, erwin kreisig this is very good book but i think that uh, it will take more time it will take more time for you to understand or more time for you to digest okay so gravel will be somewhat basic compared to this so you can combine this two and then you can uh, take your notes okay accordingly based on the syllabus again you need to keep your syllabus and then you need to have both this book and from gravel you will be getting few things and from crazy you will be getting something okay now coming to uh, engineering mechanics concept of physics by hc verma so those who have volume 1 okay um uh, those who are prepared for jwe and a triple e everyone would have been familiar about this book and um, uh, from concept of physics from volume 1 you don't need to read the complete book there are some specific topics only for example kinematics of particle kinetics of particles friction and that uh, what is that work energy equation so those are the only topics which you need to learn from this book okay and then coming to timo shinko static part uh, trusses okay those things you need to learn from timo shinko and again that is why i am saying keep your syllabus in your hand and books in your hand and combine it and read it okay now coming for mechanics of material my favorite book is rc hibbler this book will be enough okay concepts you can learn it from this book if you are not comfortable with rc hibbler then go for gary and timo shinko okay any one any one not both are not required you take any one okay my suggestion my preferred book was rc hibbler now coming to theory of machines amitabh ghosh and uh, ashok kumar malik bit um what i could say uh, book will be very good but it will be bit tough for you to understand at the beginning okay when you are going to start the subject it will be bit tough for you to understand so if you are going to start the subject you want to learn it easy way then i will suggest you to go for ss ratan please don't take kurmi okay please don't take kurmi either go for ss ratan that will be bit easier compared to amitabh ghosh and malik and even if you go for amitabh ghosh and malik it's well and good okay because most of most of the faculties who is teaching in gate institute okay or most of the uh, professors who are teaching in iit and nit also if they are going to teach the subject they will refer this book okay again take your syllabus and compare it and study and for vibration it is gr uh, grower um even in ss ratan also some part of vibration is there but if you want to learn it in detail then grower will be better now coming to machine design my complete suggestion and how i designed my course majorly from 90 percentage it's going to be from a uh, my course my course is designed from vv bandari only shigle few parts of shigle like one or two uh, things which is uh, really not that much good in bandari i will be taking it from shigle but for uh, for you guys who are going to prepare self uh, then i will suggest you to go for vv bandari only enough more than enough more than enough okay again compare the syllabus with gate and then you can read it now Uh, coming to fluid mechanics som and viswas no other no other thing which is required for you fluid mechanics and even for hydraulic machinery is also som and viswas concepts and kl kumar also concepts will be very good okay both this books concepts will be very book sorry very good and in kl kumar problems are also very good okay honestly if you are going to write xc then my suggestion is to solve all the solved problems of som and viswas and kl kumar and if possible solve the solved problems of modi and seth also Okay, this book is also good. This is majorly uh, followed by IES students. Okay, if you want to prepare for IES also, because in IES, uh, in mains, you need to write the conventional paper also, right? So those times the bigger problems they can ask from Modi and Seth also. But if you are going for gate only, then these two will be enough. Some and Viswas for concepts, 
KL Kumar for concepts and Major Lee for problems. Okay. Now coming to thermodynamics, Sengel and Bose, no other alternative for you. Sengel and Bose for concepts. Okay, Sengel and Bose for concepts. PK Nog for problems. Only solved problems will be enough. Okay, not even you don't need to do the book back question also. Of course, if you are preparing for gate XC, then you need to concentrate on book back question also. But if you are if you are going to concentrate only on ME, then only solved problems uh, from PK Nag and concepts from Sengel and Bowles will be more than enough. Now coming to apply thermodynamics, all those cycles are there, right? So those cycles you can learn from uh, S top and McConkey. I'm not uh, pronouncing it properly, I guess. If you put it in Google, you will be getting it. Okay, and similarly, the refrigeration and air conditioning, you need to go for CPR aura. Okay. Um, even in S top and McConkey also, you will be getting refrigeration air conditioning, but in CPR aura, it will be better in detail. Okay. And now finally, uh, manufacturing and industrial. Calister is the best book which you will get for material science. No other replacement for it. Okay, for a material science, you cannot find any other replacement. Best book, but it will be very detailed. Okay, but that much detail is not required for gate. So, take your uh, syllabus, compare it properly, take it confinedly. Okay, and now coming to manufacturing, uh, it's an ocean, right? So, Kalpak Jain and Amitabh Ghosh and Malik. And in addition to this, if you want a confined book, then I will suggest you to go for uh, Swede Singh uh, book. Okay, I'm not sure which publication it is. Initially, it was different publication. Now, it is different publication. But yes, you can go for that also. But these two, you will be having, uh, what is that? Uh, concepts in detail. In addition to this, we have uh, casting, a separate book for casting, separate book for welding also. But I, I think it is not required for uh, student level, it is obviously needed for teacher level. Okay. Now, coming to industrial engineering, Hira and Gupta, operation research, industrial engineering by OP Kanna. But my best suggestion for industrial engineering is NPTEL lectures. Okay. Because um, for industrial engineering as concerned, the concepts are scattered. Okay. Different books as different concepts. So, you cannot concentrate on uh, one book and you cannot learn it more. So, if you go for NPTEL lectures, even, even it is available in PDF format also or if it is available in a lecture also, you can follow that, okay. So, these are the sources, okay, sources for you to understand the concept in between I given you some problems also, okay, that is the first thing, okay, conceptual clarity, how to get it, I said it, now, and for these things, whatever we discussed until now, for these things, you don't need to invest much, am I right? Because you will be getting most of this book in online, okay? So, if you are not able to get it, uh, you can buy it one or two books, okay? But most of the books will be there in online. You can just uh, buy that or you can get that Amazon Kindle, which you will be getting in less cost. Now, in addition to this, what is the investment you need to make? Okay, you can, uh, you can note the word I am saying. Uh, it is investment. Okay, all these things which you are going to do is an investment because you are going to get it back only okay, later. So, what is that? First thing is, you need to buy gate previous year questions. Okay, of all, uh, you need to buy a book which contains gate previous year questions. And then, you need to buy ISRO previous year questions. Okay, and then, uh, yes, these two. And then, you need to get test series. Okay, test series. I will suggest you to go for, if you are comfortable with one, fine, but I will suggest you to go for at least two test series. Okay, so test series has to be treated as what? I already said in previous video, test series has to be treated as practice only. Okay, so if you're going for two test series, well and good. And, um, and then finally, problems. Okay, as I said already, you can follow the solved problems of uh, these standard books. Okay, so you can go for solved problems solved problems of standard books now um, if you are not very much comfortable okay if you are not very much comfortable with solved problems of uh, what is that uh, the standard books what you can do you can buy some good publications uh, classroom questions which they are doing in the classroom or good institutes classroom questions okay i'm not going to name the institute but you will be getting to know if you go through the google or something like that okay right so yeah so, regarding test series, Endurance Engineering Academy is also offering a test series. Okay, so questions will be very good. 
it is my promise demo is available and uh, i will be posting you the demo link in the description just click the de uh, demo link you will be able to write the demo test okay so if you if you wish to you can click the demo uh, demo link and you can write the test and now coming to these things without this okay without this it's not going to be a complete preparation okay only reading the concepts from standard books or only reading the concepts which they are teaching in the coaching it's not going to be enough so you need to practice more questions and those questions what are the best source available get previous year is previous year test series a good test series don't forget that okay because um, there may be some institute where the test series is not good also okay so go for good test series you can decide it based on the demos or from the reviews of other students okay now for test series from eea you can just check out the demo link which is there in the description now coming for solved problems of standard books that is fine if you are not comfortable with solved problems of um, what is that solved problems of uh, uh, standard books then try to get classroom questions of uh, some good co coaching institutes okay right so yeah so that will be uh, done okay so what are the things which is done conceptual clarity uh, practice and even test series also the one thing which i didn't say is revision okay for revision you need to do two things you need to prepare short notes properly plus you need to do periodical revision properly so these are the two things which you need to take care of so how to prepare a short notes i already made a video i will attach it in the description what is mean by periodical revision for that also i already made a video i will attach it in the description and moreover you need to prepare a timetable okay so you need to prepare a schedule okay so how to prepare a timetable okay so which subject i should start okay how to proceed for that also i made a video i will attach it in the description so three videos are there uh, which will be continuation of this for the self studying student one is short note preparation periodical revision and another one is timetable preparation in addition to this if you are interested in test series you can check our demo test okay so that's it i hope this would have been help uh, this uh, this would have helped you okay so in understanding what books to follow and what to do if you are a self studying student okay so yeah that's it thank you